Oh yeah, yeah, TFR Wilderness here bringing to you another review. Not a KTRT review because this is the first of my, uh, what I refer to as my uh, New Year's resolution reviews of official or third party figures. So this month you're going to be getting two third party reviews and this is the first. You know, you've obviously seen in the uh, thumbnail what I'm going to be reviewing. Um, now, uh, what I've got today is a Legends figure from Iron Factory. Um, I haven't actually got that much stuff from Iron Factory. Um, actually, this is only the third product I've bought from them. The first product I got was that, was it, well, actually it was their very first product. It was that um, upgrade kit they did for War for Cybertron uh, Voyager Grimlock, which, you know, had them little panels that filled in that, that gaping hole in his dino mode on, underneath and uh, gave him a few extra bits which sort of gave him wings in robot mode. And... Uh, I've got him in here with, in my Grimlock's display with the kit on and uh, the other one was when I got uh, sometime last year I got that little um, Miko, the uh, the little Windblade mould I can't remember why I bought it, I think it because it was cheap and uh, at the time I had this idea that I wanted to character mould set collect Windblade and of course then I saw all that trash that's coming out as part of the uh, the Cyberverse line, and I thought, no, nope, no, I'm not. We're not collecting Windblade. I mean, even I have standards on the, you know, crap bots that uh, that I need to buy. So yeah, now these figures that, um, well, we all know that Iron Factory are world leaders in this, uh, you know, the legend scale market, and it's it's a a really growing area. Of you know the Transformers third party. I mean, there's there's more and more companies sort of jumping into the legend scale, and um, Iron Factory have been leading the way. I mean, they've been bringing out some absolutely amazing stuff. I mean, yeah, it's not exactly you know G1 cartoon accurate. I mean, they've got their own aesthetic going on, but the uh, the molding and the paintwork and the and the the articulation and engineering on these things is just outstanding. It's amazing for something so small to have so much articulation and have such amazing little engineering. And they're also a company that are pretty good. They've got a pretty good turnaround time. You know, when they announce something, it's only like a couple of months before it's out. Unlike, you know, fans toys, for instance, you know, they announce, oh, we're going to do a figure of this. And then it's like, like three years later, it actually comes out. No, but, um, you know, Iron Factory are, are, are pretty good at when it comes to bringing out new products. And one new line that they've introduced, or, or they're bringing out, is this Spirits of the DEC. Now, it's their take on the IDW Decepticon Justice Division. Now, I didn't really want to go for these, mainly because... I've been collecting the Mastermind Creations ones, so obviously I've got Tarn... Oh... I've got K on and I've just dropped him. But I've got got Voss as well. And uh so yeah, I I'm well on the way to getting my my chug scale, you know, third party uh, DJD figures from Mastermind Creations. I've also placed placed the pre-order for the next two figures they're bringing out, which is um uh Knee and Foxwire, which is basically Nickel and the Pet and I just want Nickel. I don't care how much she is. I just want Nickel. Because um, not only will she work with my uh, DJD figures, she also go towards my uh, my scavengers lineup. So you know, you know she works both ways. But uh, Mastermind Creations have really been dragging their heels getting these figures out. I mean, they've still got a theoretically a uh, couple more figures to go. And yes, we know Tortor's on the way, but you know, there's been some sort of like teaser images of him coming out, and but they're still dragging their heels. So yeah. Hurry up, Mastermind. Come on, finish them off this year. But um, then you've got Iron Factory have decided to you know, throw their hat into the ring doing DJD figures. And uh, they are doing the, the five basic members. They're not doing you know, not doing a Nickel or the Pet, unfortunately, but because <laughs> these guys are small enough as it is. Can you imagine how small Nickel and the Pet would be? I mean, they'd be like the size of, like, um, you know, Titan Masters. <laughs> um yeah, so they're doing the, the five basic figures, but they have an extra an extra thing to them. They actually combine together to form to form a, like a bigger version of Tarn. And I was looking at them when they were first announced, and I was thinking, oh, they look kind of neat. And then I think, Ehh. and then I thought, well, I'm already getting the Mastermind Creations ones. I don't really need to bother with the Legends ones. 
But then, more recently, the first member of this team has now actually been released. And uh, it's this guy. This is uh, Iron Factory uh, IFEX31 Doobie. And I've got him in his, uh, in his tank mode. And, like I said, I, I, wasn't, I didn't really want to get this guy. But then I saw a couple of reviews, most notably um, Ben of uh, Ben's Collectibles. You know, he did a review on this guy. And I thought, you know what, that thing looks pretty neat. I think I'll go for it. And looking at the price this thing goes for when it, when it first came out, you know, it, it was around about sort of 25, 30 quid, which I think, you know, that's, that's the other good thing about Legend stuff. It, it, it's cheap. It's also easy to display because it's nice and small. You know, you can get loads of them on your shelf. So it, it's, it's such a, such a, a, a good you know, good scale for, for some people to collect. And I, I've been buying a lot of Legend scale stuff lately from other companies like uh, Magic Square, and I've, I've bought my first Papa Toys product. And then you've got um, you've got um, uh, Unique Toys uh, Palm Collection, and then you've got the uh, DX9 War in Pocket, and, and, and all these other brands. You know, it's, it's a, a very much growing area of uh, Transformers, uh, no, no um, collector dumb <laughs> so to speak but yeah getting back to to doobie and whenever i i say the word doobie i've got to go doobie 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 quack quack um i, I don't know where i've got that from it's something that's lodged in my head from when i was a kid I, i'm not sure where i got that from but uh yeah he's, he's got the name doobie and, and i just have to think about that i, I presume it's pronounced doobie it might have some dube or dubhe or, or or however you pronounce it is d u b h e you know it's it's it's, it's a weird name but anyway, so I've got him in his tank mode, and it, it's all right. You know, it's 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 a thing. It's 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 a it's a vehicle. He transformed into a vehicle. Yes, it's a Cybertronian tank. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Cybertronian modes. To me, you know, uh, Transformers robots in disguise. I want a Transformer to transform into, you know, an Earth vehicle. You know, the whole point of them transforming into a vehicle is to disguise themselves from you know, from Earthlings. <laughs> if you he, you know if this guy was to drive down the street he wouldn't be fooling anybody <laughs> and that's a big alien tank um um the proportions on it are slightly different to the the, the cool tour version i mean it's got these really narrow tracks at the front um but you know it's got to transform into something and and it looks good it's got the the dual you know fusion cannons on the top um it's got you know treads at the front treads at the back it's nicely painted it's nicely molded uh, and it's a thing, and you know it. It transforms into an alt mode. It's got an alt mode, so it's okay. It's it's not bad, but given the limitations of the scale, there's only so much they could build into it. Plus, you know the engineering, because don't forget this thing's a combiner as well. So you know it's, it's got to be engineered to do free modes. So <laughs> there's got to be compromises. But I wouldn't say that alt mode is compromised. But you know they've done the best they can with the scale that it's at, and. It looks pretty cool. Um, you can get a little bit of motion on the guns, but there's there's not not much going on. It's pretty much a brick. There's no wheels on it or nothing, um, and so yeah. And but the other thing about Tarn, I mean, let's face it. I mean, <coughs> you'll be displaying him in this mode, not this mode. You know, you'll be dis displaying him in his in his bot mode on the shelf anyway, because in the comics he he only transformed into his tank mode once possibly twice throughout all the issues he was in and even then it was just so that he could it was it was that um that scene in um was it uh dying of the light when uh megatron got caught well he got he had a confrontation with tarn and then tarn you know he says oh you know had a, 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 a quick conflab and then tarn's a lot like, oh, i'm gonna kill you and then all of a sudden overlord turns up and then um, Overlord and Tarn start fighting amongst themselves, and uh, Megatron you know, sort of slips away. But um, but yeah, he doesn't transform that much. And to be honest, you know, you want Tarn in his, in his bot mode, so the alt mode is a thing. So yeah, it's you no, know, it's 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 pretty cool. Come on, focus. Oh no, let's 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 do this manually. There we go. So you know, you can see it. And it's got some nice, nice paint apps. You know, it's got all that uh, that sort of pinky colour. It's 
got these sort of gold bits here. It's got the silver, the black, the purple. And it looks great. And it, you know, it, it, it's a good figure. Don't get me wrong. It, it looks fantastic. But it's not the it's not the main it's not the main thing with this figure is it so getting to transformation now the reason i started in alt mode is because it's a little fiddly to get him into alt mode because you know especially pegging this um because this is his main weapon it sort of pegs in between what are effectively his legs sort of folded over his back and uh it's it's a bit tricky to um to plug it in and i suppose that's where we'll start transforming it so you just gotta sort of pull it apart gently you can start moving stuff like moving the arms up and then you can fold unpeg the treads and bring the arms out like so and then you can I mean, you can actually pull the guns off individually. They, they actually come off the mountain. Oh, there we go. So you take the gun off. Um, it does come apart. You've got one gun and two guns, and they just they just slot onto these pegs on the side. Uh, have I got it the right way round? No, I haven't. It only really goes on one way. There we go. And uh, it's got the, the peg sort of folds up. And then it gives, gives you like a like a 5 mil peg. We put that to one side. And then we get onto the robot mode now. So we sort of half transform. So we basically unfold the legs. Like so. So you unfold the leg. And the foot, and then you got the little the uh, the shin guards. You put them in, and then now this is the this is part of the transformation. You've got to actually turn the legs on the um, the upper sort of face swivel. You've got to turn them round 180 degrees to face forwards, and then pull these out of the way, and then you turn the waist round. To the to what is it, what will be the front, and that's that's basically your legs. Now, the arms are, are kind of tricky, and there's a, there's a few clearance issues here. This is why I, I went for you no know, transformation this way rather than the other way. Now, you've got these upper treads, and they have these little little hinge pieces which fold out like so. You see, you see, see that see that there and you, you fold them out and you've got this this thing that sort of gets in the way when you're doing it and also you've got these bits on the back you sort of fold them into the middle and you sort of fold them into the middle he's, he's, he's quite fiddly this guy and then you have these his arms are on these very thin sort of spur things which fold up into the shoulders and uh, they're a bit uh, a bit iffy and if there's any place this thing's going to break it's on on these things here so be very careful when you're transforming it and of course the ball joints on the shoulders are very tight as are a lot of the other joints so and then you fold it up and then you close the uh, the tread bits back down and it sort of locks it all into place like so then you can fold the, the treads up for the shoulders like so and you bring the arms down And then you just fold the chest plate down and then you can angle those bits out. And there he is in robot mode. And 
wow. <laughs> He's amazing. Um, you put him next to Cool Tor and it's like, honey, I've shrunk the Cool Tor. You know, if I... Sort of try to get them so they're about the same size. He's he's just just like a mini cool toy. He's, he's fantastic. So much detail on this thing. It's amazing. Um, again, we're gonna have to go into. Uh, there we go. And you can see him. And. Uh, he cleans up really well, you know, he's got nearly a backpack. Really, really tidy little bot. Um, absolutely amazing. Looks fantastic, so much paint. Um, and uh, incredible, just looks amazing. Um, looks every inch, you know, <laughs> or should I say every millimetre, because, you know, I mean, <laughs> cool tours like every inch. This guy's every millimetre. He's so so tiny. Um, you know, the, the menacing leader of the, the DJD. Um, so, yeah, uh, features. He, he comes, obviously, you've got the box. There's the box. Comes with... Uh, set of instructions which shows you the instructions you know from you know, robot to alt mode and then robot to combiner mode which is fairly simplistic to be honest comes in a little pack um, it does come with a, an extra extra pairs of hands you see there it's got extra pairs of hands um, I've got the um, the normal sort of five mil peg hands in and you can hold his fusion cannon, double fusion cannon in his arm, but he is meant to have the fusion cannon plugged into his arm a la Megatron style, like so. So he has it on his arm, double fusion cannon. And there we go. Um, also, another feature this guy has got, he has got a, re a removable face mask. I mean, the um, Mastermind Creations one, the, the face mask comes on, but y y you look how small. His face mask is, and you think, that doesn't come off, but it bloody does. There you go. And there you go. He's got a nicely painted head and face, and he's actually got um, down one side of his face. He's got like what looks like a scar. I assume that's what it is. It's supposed to be a scar down the side of his face, not not a molding fault. Um, and the, the peg has got that. The face has got a uh, well, it's got a little little peg in the middle, little square peg that pegs in, and uh, it fits in like that. So yeah. Fantastic. Um, quick, go for the articulation quickly. He's got a ball jointed head. He's got ball jointed shoulders that go around and they go up to there. He's got ball jointed elbows, so you know his arms can go quite high up. He's also got this transformation joint here. Um, so you know he's got a little bit extra movement in his arm. Um, the, the fists. Obviously, they unpeg so that you can swap them out. It's just a flat peg that pegs in, but you know because of that, it's got a, it's got a it's got a fist rotation. Um, he has got uh, an ab crunch. He's got obviously a waist joint, and then he's got ball jointed hips. Kind of restricted going forwards. Go all the way back. You can actually get them go a little bit more forward if you angle the leg out. So it will go a bit, bit, a uh, bit more forwards. You can do the full Van Dam. It's got, it's got um, upper thigh swivels there, sort of built into the hip on the top of the ball joint. Well, the ball joint on the top of the hip. Um, it's got double knees which go back quite far, and then it's got a little bit of uh, ankle tilt, not much. But he has got a toe bend that's on a, on a kind of a, like a ball joint that gives it a little bit of motion. 
So decently articulated. He's got you know most of the articulation joints you should you, you should want on a modern transforming toy. Joints are all nice and tight. In some places, probably a bit too tight. You know, especially with them um, those thin plastic spars that the shoulder joints are on, which you, you know for transformation you you unclip them from the tread and then angle them down. They're they're a bit thin, and I reckon because the ball joint on the shoulder is is quite stiff. You know, if you start moving them around while you're moving them, you know, re you know, changing them from one position to the other, there's a chance you might break it. So, like I said, be careful with that. Um, but yeah, he's absolutely amazing. Uh, he does have one extra mode. Well, actually, no. Before we go any further, let's do a quick size comparison. Um, now, I decided to put him next to another Legends figure, so I thought I'd go with uh, Combiner Wars Bombshell. Um, yeah, so as you can see, he's a pretty successful you no know, legend scale figure. Though really, Tarn should be a bit bigger than this guy, because uh, Tarn is is quite a big boy. Um, and I've already done the size comparison <laughs> next to <laughs> Mastermind Creations Cool Tour, obviously. So yeah, he's sweet, sweet little figure. Um, well worth you know getting if you like your legend stuff if you like the djd you know just 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 buy it <laughs> um he does have this extra mode and uh, they do combine uh the transformation to combiner um you take the gun off remove the fusion cannons and then basically you've got to bring the arms up to the back and then you basically fold, flatten the feet, and then fold the legs up onto the back. There's uh, little pegs there that you, you can plug the arms into on the sides of the legs. Like so, and then you get these um, And then you get the uh, this piece. You bring the uh, fold that round, so you've you've got uh, got this piece out, and then it kind of pegs into these uh, this little these little slots here. And uh, oh yeah, you've got to bring the uh, got to bring the treads back up as well. And there we go. There he is in his combiner mode. Um, obviously, see, it's, it's just just you scrunch him up into a ball. <laughs> um, obviously, this is the only figure I've got so far. It's the only figure they've released so far. Um, I don't know exactly how the combiner works. I assume as you get more figures, there'll be more detailed um, instructions on how to put it together. I think some of the, the the bigger figures later on have got a bit of parts forming about them. They they've sort of split up into you know arms and separate arms and legs and and stuff. But I think this guy forms the core of the body. And uh, so later on, you know, extra bits will come. You'll be able to make possibly a combiner that's maybe about the same size as this guy, <laughs> um, but multicolored because all the other figures are in some uh, crazy colours. So yeah, that's been my review <laughs> of uh, this little guy. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Spirits of the DEC 31 Doobie, their take on uh, DJD um, Tarn. And uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing little figure, fantastic little figure. So um, I got mine from Kapow. Um, I don't know whether they've still got it in stock, but uh, yeah, you know, Kapow probably got the best price you know that I've seen in other places have got it because um, you now I was looking at getting it from TFS Express, but you know they charge that blanket five pound fifty for postage, and then when you added that to it, put it over thirty quid. Um, Kapow only charged two pound ninety five for postage, so you know it's under thirty quid when you buy it via that route. So there's there's various you know eBay sellers doing it for you know around about sort of like twenty five thirty quid, plus a little bit of postage, but it's definitely worth getting. Um, I can thoroughly recommend it. And uh, that's been my review of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, like I said, it's first of my third party reviews this month. I will be doing another one as and when it arrives. 
Um, so look forward to that. So yeah, that's been it for uh, today. I've been Two Five Wilderness. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da!